Last week was amazing for me. My wife gave birth to our third child, so I'm recording this with a small baby sleeping by my side. I don't want to spend too much time recording videos this week, so I'm doing kind of a special. Since I started this channel, I've received a lot of mail boxes like this, and I've also had to order a lot of stuff for the projects that I'm doing. So I thought I'd share with you a week's worth of what's in the mailbox of a miniature painter. Some of these things have been sent to me by viewers who want me to paint stuff in some of the upcoming videos. And some of these I've ordered myself, uh, but the ones I'm most excited about are the ones that are from you and from companies that send me stuff to try out and maybe sometime make a review or have in their video. So let's start with something big that I've ordered myself and take it from there. This is a big package. Nice, 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 nice. Wow. As you might see, I now have a microphone here, but the sound is better when I go down here. So uh, I wanted something that I don't have to sit crouched like this in front of the microphone and still get a good sound. So I ordered uh, the Rode microphone arm. I don't know, can you see it? Um, Let's set this up later. This is looking cool. Let's take this one. I have no idea what's in this one, so I'm kind of excited. I know that some companies have sent me stuff, but I, there's no brand on here that I recognize. Let's take a short break with the recording and I'll get back to you once this is done. Okay, so <laughs> I'm back a few hours later and we have this everlasting wet palette. I don't know if you can see it, but a lot of people have been asking me which wet palette I use and um, if I have any recommendations about it. So uh, I wrote to Redgrass Games and asked them if they could send me one that I can give away. So I'm going to make a review video later of the one that I had purchased myself. I have the the Excel one. Yeah, I'll tell you more about what I think about it later. In that video, I'm going to give away this one. So keep uh, posted by subscribing and you'll have a chance to win one later. And they also sent me some extra stuff. It's like a double zero brush nippers and just some extra stuff for my Excel wet palette. So this cool stuff from Redgrass Games. Nice of them to send me some stuff. <clears throat> and this morning I opened my mailbox and I had a letter um, it just says congratulations to father of three. So let's see what's in here. This is from uh, Marcus and looks like a blood letter. I'm guessing he, he wants me to paint one for for an upcoming video. So if you ever have stuff like this just lying around and if there is like a video that would fit in my schedule I would I will definitely look into painting the, the models that you send me. Um, so thank you Marcus. Let's open this one. Opening packages! Motherfucking packages. So let's see what's in this. Ooh. This one I've waited for quite a long time. This is clear cast resin. 
I'm, uh, I've started started building some terrain stuff uh, where I'm going to need some more like larger resin cast things. Yeah, I ordered this online and I'm super pumped about trying it out. Two component water. Here's a package. I think this is from a client of mine that I do commission painting for. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but let's open this and see what's inside. Where you got all them tapes from? Ah, yes. I think this is... Uh, this is one of these Underworlds commission that I've got lined up. This is uh, two warbands for Warhammer Underworlds. Molog's Mob and... Let's see if you can guess the second one. Oh, God, I love the squigs. I'm super pumped about doing this job. It's just super cool. So let's look at all the models. It's gonna be so much fun. And the last package. This one, it says it's from Green Stuff World. I've been mailing with Green Stuff World before and they told me they would send me some stuff to use in videos or review or whatever I want to do. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to see what they're sending me. I have no idea. Ooh, well packaged. <gasps> oh my god. Intensity sets. Fudge, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so hyped about this. I, I paint with inks like all the time. Pretty much every miniature I paint, I like on some, some parts of it I use inks and this is like super intense ink. Orange, I don't have any orange ink. I'm hyped about that. Masking putty for airbrushing. This is another one of those things that I really need because I use the airbrush so much. Don't taste it. More inks. Sepia, walnut, dark green, black, blue, sepia. So I'm guessing that's for like skin. Nice. Seriously, green stuff worlds. This is an epic pack. Candy ink. Not sure what, what the difference is between the candy ink and, and the regular ink. Oh, it's more like uh, like pastel colors. I don't know. It's like a super vibrant sapphire blue. This one looks really good. Liquid mask. This is as well you can use for like masking out things uh, so you can airbrush smaller miniatures so some parts won't be affected by what you're airbrushing. I'm really excited about trying this out because as I mentioned with the inks, like I, I often use airbrush and usually it's inks through the airbrush. So this will be perfect addition that I, things that I don't have. Metal color, it's a blue metal color. Shark fin blue. They really sent me some cool stuff. Mystic white. Nice. I've been using a lot of these uh, Vallejo. Valle Vallejo? <laughs> Vallejo paints. Vallejo metal paints. And these are. They look like really fine pigment. And it's gonna be really fun to try these out. More stuff. Realistic snow. It's cool. Base building. So let's make a snow base video as well. Oh, UV resin. Oh, yeah, I, I saw Black Magic Crafts video when he used these uh, UV resin with the ultraviolet torch. And I have some ideas because I'm I've ordered some miniatures. I'm not going to say too much because it's probably going to take a while before I paint them. Uh, and I had some really good ideas for effects to do on those minis and these will come perfectly in hand and they will probably be a good complement to the two component resin. Um, this will be for more like details and the other one will be for bigger lakes and things like that. 
and more metal color, Neptunus blue, cool. And acrylic wash ink paint set. I haven't tried the green stuff world once. I really like the the army painter washes. I'm not a huge fan of the GW uh, washes, but if these are anything like the army paint ones, seriously, this pack from Green Stuff World is some serious stuff. Wow. So if you have stuff you want me to show in a video or maybe a miniature you want me to make a tutorial of, because I get so many requests and I do so many videos, I can't buy them all. So if you have a company or you have miniatures that you want to send me, um, send me a message on Facebook, on Instagram, and I'll give you my address and you can send me whatever you like. Whenever I stack up packages like this, I will do more of these unboxing videos. And as I said, there will be a review video of the Everlasting Wet Palette. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I will do a review of a bunch of these and use them in different builds because yeah, as snow bases I know it's one of the most popular asked videos so that will be super fun to try out and the inks like the intensity inks I'm guessing if there are anything like the inks I, I use from before this will be like a stable go-to tool for paint jobs in the future huge shout out to Redgrass Games and uh, Green Stuff Worlds and of course everyone who sent me stuff from the commissions to the blood letter from Marcus. If you like hobby videos in general, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. There are more painting videos and building videos if you just click the icon on this side or this side. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And with that said, have a great day. Bye.